Chloe. It's Fox and a half. Yay! I'm Chloe. I'm Arlo. This is Arlo. So today we're gonna be talking about um, basically like artists beware, scammers and such. I think like at the end, Chloe has her own story. Personally, I don't have any experience with it, so I just like read up some drama. It actually did happen to Chloe. Yeah, so that's always fun. All right, so basically like what I've been following on Twitter is a Don't Hug Cacti suit that was stolen. It was between, um, her name is Lola. It's this uh, friend of the seller. Yeah, so like they knew each other. And her friend was like, hey, you're selling the, uh, the suit I want. I'll totally buy it. And they agreed on 3200 So this happened in June and the package was sent June 11th. So everything was paid for and it was all fine. And then the seller, it's Bambi, uh, Bambi Saber. Basically, she checked her PayPal account and it was in the negatives, negative $3,000. Yikes. So she <laughs> she contacted her friend and was like, "Hey, uh, where's where's my money? What happened?" And her friend was like, "Oh, this is happening. I've been trying to figure it out, but it's not just you. It's everybody that I've been that I've commissioned." Like, okay, well, just stay in contact with me. And she's like, okay. So the past like two days, they're constantly talking to each other, trying to figure it. She's like, okay, I'm on the phone with the bank. I'm figuring it out. And then she just stopped talking altogether. So Bambi was like, dude, um, stay in contact with me. This is pretty serious. We need to figure this out. She was just not talking for a few days. That's always how it starts. They just stop talking. That's always how it starts. But she seemed like she was, you know, a nice person. So she stopped talking on, uh, let's see, July 7th. How they were, how the suit was paid for was through PayPal but it was through the uh, friends and family method of paying. So Bambi contacted PayPal and like, hey, you know, I need this money. And they gave her a temporary balance, but they're like, we need to investigate and this may take up to 72 days. And sh Bambi was like, uh, I need to pay rent. I need to get this figured out now. Two days later, after no contact with Lola, PayPal was like, oh, their bank sided with Lola, you don't get the money. So, oh boy. She was like, ah, oh, shit, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah. Lola finally got in contact with her. Oh, yeah. 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 And oh, she, yeah. she basically said everything. She was like, I stole my mom's credit card to buy this $3,000 <laughs> fursuit. <laughs> Yikes! But then she was like desperately like trying to say, um, oh, I'll pay, I'm getting a job soon. I'll pay you back. That, like, <laughs> that would not have worked out. No. No, no. No. You uh, know, like you just put an artist in financial crisis because you just needed this costume and you needed to steal from not just the artist, but your mom. Where's the logic in that? Finally, somebody, I'm not sure who, Somebody got Lola's mother's information, contact information, and Bambi contacted Lola on Facebook. Or Lola's mom. Yeah, or Lola's mom, yeah. So, she, the mom responds on Facebook, and she's like, we'll send this suit back. My daughter has never done this before. I'm sure she has. She told that. <laughs> Uh, Bambi that all the other commissioners, oh, basically the mom saw this $3,000 charge on her card and called her bank. I mean, I would too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the bank sided with her. So she got in contact with the mom and everything was good. She sent the suit back. But then recently, I checked the Twitter before. Yes. Just to make sure there's any updates. Okay. But recently the mom just Blocked her on Facebook. Yeah, she gave her like a <laughs> shitty picture of the tracking number apparently, but then just stopped talking. And she and she blocked her on Facebook. So Bambi like was she wanted to make sure this was legit and she called UPS and it is. So that's so, good. Yeah. She doesn't have the suit in her possession yet. 
so it's it's still ongoing. Yeah. But hopefully, since that number's uh, legit, according to EPS, it'll get safely back in Bambi's hands, and we'll we'll see how it goes. God, I hope it. I really hope it gets back to Bambi. Yeah, it's a nice fucking suit, dude. Oh, it's really nice. <laughs> oh, oh and Lola, right now still too, she has her Twitter banner with the suit on. And her Twitter photo is the fucking suit. Yeah, she stopped getting on and like sometime at the end of June, I think. Yeah. It was like right before all this shit went down. I uh, think her last tweet was like, God, I'm, I'm panicking so fucking hard. I just want this to be done. And everyone in the comments is like, just return the fucking suit. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> it's not hard. <laughs> my girl was like, hey guys, don't threaten Lola. But people did it anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's the internet. What are you going to do? But yeah, so that's uh, some spicy furry drama. Now, uh, let's talk about some other things that have already happened. Uh, what did you uh, pull up? Uh, I, mean, I, I did the dildo one. Oh my god! <laughs> that was my favorite one! That was so funny. We have a story for y'all from Artist Beware. So, this one was posted July 7th. It was, it dates back to February 3rd though, because that's when this uh, said thing, uh, product is ordered. So this person ordered a, an adult toy. A dildo! An adult toy! This is like a dildo! It, we don't know if it was a dildo, it might have been a butt plug. I thought you said it was a rainbow dragon dildo. I was giving that as a joke example, uh. bitch! Okay. It, it just says one custom toy and one storage bag is ordered from <laughs> from business called Frisky Beast, and we'll, we'll link that. But uh, you can only you can only click it if you're over 18, okay? Are we gonna link that? Are we? Just look up Frisky Beast. Okay, yeah, just uh, look up Frisky Beast if you're curious. But just so you know, it's uh, it's 18 plus. Parents' permission. You need your parents' permission if you're under. Run! Anyway. Oh my God, no! Okay, moving on. It's basically full of animal-centered adult toys, such as dragon dildos. What they did is they ordered it February 3rd, like I said, and uh, the average wait time outside of holiday season was six to eight weeks. 17 weeks after they ordered this toy, they submitted a ticket for status inquiry about it because they were like, you yeah, know, where's, where's my fucking toy? Where's my dildo? And they, they were, it was over the weekend so they were told by the maker Theropod that they're going to check it during the week. But they didn't. And nine days later they submitted, nine days later they asked if their ticket was still going to get checked out to see how the toy was coming along and they got no response. And then five days after that, they submit a second ticket to which there was still no response. So, Frisky Beast has been waiting at this point for like, what, 18, 19 weeks? When the average wait time is six to eight weeks and now they're just not responding. And the person in question decided to email them even though they said not to email about specific orders but obviously you know like what, what else are you up there yeah like, what, what else is there to do so oh my dildo yeah what the fucking dildo uh so the dude the dude emails them you know hey where's my where's my order and they responded very quickly that they have replied to the tickets but there must be a bug because it wasn't showing up on the customer's end so they're like, okay, we'll check it out and we'll get back to you. And the guy's like, okay, thanks. Two days later, he still has no response on the tickets or anything. Okay, he sent another email. He got no response. But at this point, they, they sent another email. They're still getting no response. And that's where it was left at. And I went through the comments and they updated it saying that they sent in... He got a refund request filed to his bank so that he could... <laughs> Uh -huh. Wake up, America! I didn't get my dildo! Oh my god, they... This, per, this poor person had to call up their bank 
and ask for a refund. Dude, this dildo was $91. I'd be calling the bank. They, yeah, I mean, they call them, they're probably, like, can you imagine this phone call happening? Like, hey, can I submit a refund request? Like, oh yeah, for what order? My $91 rainbow dragon dildo from Frisky Beast is not being delivered. Oh, and God. it's like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, we'll help you out, I guess. <laughs> but the bank had to, apparently they denied the request because I guess it was too late and they didn't, they said that they didn't have the receipt anymore. I guess they accidentally deleted it. They're pretty much at the mercy of whenever Frisky Beast wants to give them the toy. And they're still not replying to their emails. As of, what, July 27th, 2017? So, this, and looking through the comments, y'all, if you ever want to get a furry adult toy, do not order from Frisky Bees because these comments indicate that they apparently do this very frequently to customers. They always leave them hanging. They take obscenely long to get back to them and to get their toy out, even though it's way past the estimated making time. Artists beware, Frisky Bees. Yeah, don't don't order your adult toys from Frisky Beast. Just go to that what's that place called? Bad Dragon. Bad Dragon. <laughs> yeah, order from the mainstream one. It's okay. At least they're reliable. Yeah. Get your dildo fill. Yeah. This is not a sponsored video. <laughs> fill yourself with a butt plug at Bad Dragon. So, Arlo, let's talk. Ouch. <laughs> Sorry. Ouch. <laughs> Are you okay? Yes. You hurt me emotionally. <laughs> I don't have perception. I know. I. Oh. No! <laughs> so. Not all our friends judged you. Yeah. I don't blame y'all. Sometime two or three years ago, I decided that I wanted to get myself a pair of deer legs, some fawn legs. Very cute, simple design. And. You know, I wanted to get like a whole Fawn cosplay together to get to conventions and stuff with because I just really like Fawn cosplays. I still do. They're very cute. And I was like, okay, I am going to commission a pair of Fawn legs. Uh, one day, I, I was still in the midst of looking for a maker, but I saw one day on my newsfeed that one of my friends, Naomi, I guess we're not really friends anymore. <laughs> I mean, that's how like Bambi and Lil are. Yeah. One of my acquaintances on Facebook was had posted her first pair of sheep legs that she did. Like, first sheep, sheep legs. And I was like, oh my god, these are so cute. And I messaged her, I was like, do you take commissions? And she's like, holy crap, yes I do. I'm so excited. I've never been asked for commissions. And I was like, oh, I guess I'll, you know, I'll be your first one. Oh. And I told her, I was like, okay, here's a template for the legs I want. I threw one together. And... She was like, okay, you know, send in a duct tape dummy of your legs, whatever, we'll get this done. I can order resin hooves online if you want because I don't have a resin kit or I don't know how to make hooves yet. And I was like, okay. So made a duct tape dummy of my legs. My legs. And my legs. <laughs> I sent them in to her and she took the legs. She was like, wow, <laughs> you're really tiny. And I was like, yeah, I am. <laughs> and she was like, okay, so I'm gonna get started. She went, she sent me WIPs of, she had like leggings, she would attach foam to it, sent me WIPs and I was like, oh wow, this is coming along great, super excited. And it was, it was perfectly fine. And then at some point along the line, she had told me, hey, you know, I've got a lot going on and I just haven't had any motivation to finish these and I don't think that you deserve to just have these incomplete legs, so, and I, I had paid her like half of the fee that I was going to pay her, it was like 150 she's like, uh, that was the down payment, she's like, okay, so, she's like, okay, how about I send these in, or I find someone for, to fur these for me, because the foam, the base, everything else is done, just needs furring. I am friends with a bunch of fur suitors on Facebook, I can find someone for you and you would only have to pay like $50 more to get them furred, which is less than I was going to pay initially. So I was like, 
yeah, it's okay, you know, I, I totally understand. Like, like she just didn't have the motivation, she has a lot going on, and I was like, I get it. Just send them off to someone who can finish them, I'll talk to them, whatever, we'll get it sorted out. She was like, okay, thank you so much. She finds someone on her friends list named Madeline, I believe, and this person had a few other accounts as well that they hopped between, which I didn't know back then, but that's your first warning sign. They have a lot of accounts that they hop between, they've got to be out running something. But again, I didn't know better at the time, this is my first time commissioning anything. I decided, uh, we talked it out, and this girl on was like, yeah, just give me 50 it was something like $50 to fur them. And I was like, oh, th sweet, thank you so much. Naomi sent over the legs and the foam, the base, and Madeline sent me a picture that she got it. I heard that she got it, it was in her room. I was like, okay, cool, thanks. Um, and she's like, yeah, I just have like one thing to work on then I'll get started on yours. And I was like, okay, cool. And after a few weeks, I, like, I kept checking in once in a while, you know? to make sure that she was still working on them and she kept going like, oh yeah, whatever, you know, like she, she had just had a kid. She had like postpartum depression or something is what she told me. So I was like, okay, I was being understanding. She's like, okay, I'm finishing this panda suit head and then I'll let you know when I start on yours. And I was like, okay, and I think that's around the time she stopped getting in contact with me. She stopped replying, she hopped her other account, she deactivated one of them that I was in contact with. And I told Naomi, I was like, hey, are you sure this person's reliable? She stopped contacting me, she deactivated her account. And Naomi started freaking out. She was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'll get this sorted out. She found a way to contact Madeline's mom. The mom never replied on Facebook. And I forgot to mention, I when I sent the money to Madeline, I didn't know a thing about PayPal and I sent it with the friends and family option. So, yeah, whenever you're paying with, for goods and services, pay with the goods and services option. Do not pay with friends and family unless it's actually, like, gift money or something. You don't have protection. PayPal can't really do much for you. Yep. But they can if it's goods and services. Yep. I can't remember how long we waited. We waited, like, a month or two. And, you know, Naomi, she was just... She... Bless her heart, she was so sweet and she was freaking out over this on my behalf. She felt so guilty and she said she would get a job and help pay me back and I told her, you know, it's not your fault. Or I mean, the pay the money that I like paid Madeline, it's not your fault. You don't have to refund me, it's okay. We'll get it sorted out. And I don't know, we never did. We just never did. I asked my friend, a friend of mine, who's on many Facebook groups for furries and stuff. I was like, hey, do you know this Madeline person? Is she on these things? So I saw that you guys were friends too. And she was like, yeah, yeah, I'm friends with her on Facebook. I'll try and contact her. And Madeline didn't reply to my, uh, my friend either. So my friend was like, okay. After a while, she's like, it's obvious that Madeline has no intentions on refunding you or anything. So I'll post a warning in all of the furry groups that I'm in and about her so no one else has to get through this again and I was like okay and that's that's pretty much where it ended I mean there wasn't much we could do to get in contact with Madeline after that she was just straight up ignoring us and now some random person in Georgia has a model of my legs Yay! that's great and my money yeah. y'all all right just <laughs> make sure you're always careful with this stuff cuz no matter how nice and cooperative cooperative they seem, there's always going to be scammers out there. Also, don't use your parents' credit cards. Yeah, that, that too, that too. <laughs> <laughs> Never do that. Always use the goods and services option on PayPal, always. Alright, and uh, yeah, that's the end of our story. Yep. Yeah. Be sure to uh, like and subscribe, share to your other furry friends, and um, if you have any, uh, if you have any scammer stories yourself, please feel free to leave them in the comments. We will read them. Yes, I love drama. I love. I. I live for drama. Oh my god, I'm Arlo! Kidding. Arlo lives for drama. <laughs> I create drama. Arlo is a, the being of drama. It is true. <laughs> All, right, All right, bye. Guys, bye.
So, 